Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Roasting Channel. My name is Peter. In this video, I'll be working on these two leather seats. They are from BMW. Uh, overall, the seats are in very good condition, especially for the age. They, they are about 20, 25 year old. Uh, the reason why they're here is uh, the owner wants to change the red section to black. So let's have a look at them, uh, what way they look now. For the leather restoration process, I'll be using products from a company called Geist. Uh, it's sort of new company, but the owner is long time in the leather restoration industry. He created his own brand uh, last year. So I'm using the products for nice while already and I'm very happy with the products. So I'm going to use uh, this brand for this restoration. So as every leather re restoration, uh, we start from cleaning the leather. For this step, I'm going to use this product, Geist Rapid Leather and Vinyl Cleaner Pro. Uh, this is very strong, very effective product for leather. Uh, obviously, when we clean leather, uh, and this is best advice I can give to anyone who does leather restoration or does maintenance of leather uh, or is involved in car care and cleans leather, always use foamer because if you use the product from a foamer, you'll not sat saturate in the leather. So as you can see, the product works really well. Uh, the job in this case is effortless when it comes to cleaning uh, with that product. Uh, so what now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the rest and then I will do, be doing next step. So the next step is sanding down the surface. Uh, for that, I'm going to use 400 gradation sanding pads. After that, I will remove the dust with a blower and I will degrease the surface. So now I'm ready for the next step. Uh, the next step is filling some imperfections here. Uh, there's not much on this leather, but I'm just gonna tackle those few imperfections that we have there. For filling, obviously I'm using leather filler. Uh, the filler is flexible. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill it. Then I'm going to leave it for half an hour, let the filler to fully set. Then I will sand down the filler and I will just go over with a solvent cleaner to just degrease the surface, dry it off, and then I'll be ready for spraying. So now I'm ready for spraying the leather. Uh, all I'm gonna do is before that is I'm just going to mask up the places that I don't want to paint.
So the seeds were sprayed with a color. Uh, after that, I left the seeds for a few hours. Uh, now I'm ready for spraying top coat. A mixture of the top coat, it will be 70% of top coat matte, 30% of top coat gloss, and about 5% of hardener. Uh, this, this mixture will give us very nice finish. I have this seed already done. Uh, I'll show you the difference between uh, just the paint and the top coat. Uh, this finish looks like brand new leather. So now I'm going to spray four coats of the top coat. So the seeds are finished. Let's have a look at the befores and after of the job. The last thing I'm going to do with the seeds is I'm going to leave them till tomorrow. Uh, then I will apply conditioner. So that will sort of bring back the features of leather and then the seeds will be ready to go to the customer. So this is everything in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe my channel and see you on the next one.